This is my hazel stave, and now begins that most difficult period for us novices and beginners, and that is waiting for this wood to season. If you've only got one piece of wood, it's a really frustrating time, because we have to wait a year or more. Or do we? So, is there any way to speed up the process of getting from a freshly cut hazel stave to a finished longbow? This stave, cut yesterday, weighs just under 10 kilograms, that is 20 pounds. But this finished hazel bow weighs 1 pound and 13 ounces, that is 837 grams. But it's not just the wood that weighs so much. Much of the weight in this stave is water, it's moisture, and that is the purpose of seasoning, to allow this moisture to leave the wood, which makes it lighter. And that is why seasoning a bow stave can take so long. Traditionally, the ends of the stave will be sealed with paint and the bark will be left on and it'll be put in a place where air can circulate around it and so it will dry, slowly but slowly. But I didn't wait that long to make this my first hazel longbow. I wasn't in a particular hurry when I built this bow, but it took from start to finish, from harvesting to first arrow, just 16 weeks. I harvested the stave in January and brought it indoors a temperature around about 20 degrees centigrade and stored it there for about seven weeks. I then worked the bow to its approximate shape. I'll give you the dimensions later. I left it then a further eight weeks indoors. At that point, I began to work the bow down from the rough dimensions until I could put it on the tiller. A week later, I loosed the first arrow through this bow. I then used a few more days to complete the finish of this bow. This one's been varnished, I made a new string, and by the middle of June I was out in the fields using this hazel longbow. So the answer to the question of whether it's possible to speed up the process of building a longbow from a freshly cut hazel stave is yes, it can be done. During the next few weeks I hope to follow the same process, but maybe a little quicker than last year. And by the spring, those lovely warm days that are coming soon, I hope to be out in the fields with a brand new hazel longbow.